Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm here today to talk about punching holes in things. Yeah, thrill a minute on this channel. Actually, it's in, it's I'm doing a gadgets and gizmo. And this is the gadget that Tanya at Thai Treasure has wanted me to do a video on for quite a while to help her with using it. And she did have a bit of a hard time trying to use it in a video this week. So I thought, get your bum in gear, woman, help your mate out and crack on with your video. So here it is. So it'll help anyone who's considering buying one or has one and is having some trouble with it. I hope anyway. Right. So if you're not familiar with it, it is the We Are Memory Keepers Crocodile 2. The reason it's the Crocodile 2 is this handheld one is the Crocodile 1. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, they both do the same thing, just about, more or less. Well, they do. It's just in slightly different ways. They make holes and they put eyelets and brads in. Right, I've already mucked up filming this video once. I couldn't understand what I'm on about, so you'd have had no chance. So I'm going to try and simplify it a little bit. I'm just, I'm just going to show me using it rather than try and explain 27,000 different things. So here we have... The crocodile too. Here we have a piece of grey board. I'm going to punch some holes. <laughs> now it'll punch a hole three sixteenth of an inch. Yay! You move this little slider on the top so that in the window it says three sixteenths, and you get a hole that size. You move it to where it says one eighth of an inch. Punch it, and you get a hole that size. You move it all the way to the end where it has a little picture of. I don't know what it looks like. It looks like an eyelet <laughs> or a brad. And you will be able to set your eyelets into these holes. Right, I'm going to grab some of my least favourite eyelets. They're these copper ones. I don't tend to use them a lot, so I can waste a few in this video, can't I? Right, to set the 3 sixteenths of an inch eyelet, you need the top set to A. That's it. That's the only option for setting it. Now the bottom, you've got two options. You can have it set to number two. If you look in the corner, you get these numbers. Or you can have it set to number one. I prefer number two. The reason I prefer number two, and I've already done a few here is, can you see that? It sort of curls the back part I'll get an, an eyelet to show you. It curls the metal on the back part around and it's not sharp. With the uh, 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 number one, <laughs> it sort of splays them out and they can be left quite sharp. And I then find it necessary to come in with my whack whack or hammer and smooth those off. So I will show you. So we've got our two holes and our two eyelets. I'm going to set one with the first eyelet, should I say, with the number one, which looks like a, a, a hill. I think the other one is a nipple and this one is a hill. So pop it in. Now don't press your eyelet down against the bottom hill when you put this in. If you press your paper down, Look, your eyelet's going to pop back out of the hole. You'll lose it and you'll have problems. And I think that's the problem Tanya was having. You need to pop it in and just hover it over while you bring the machine down. And can you now see it's the prong at the top has caught that eye lit. And then you squeeze in. Don't over squeeze because you can squash your eyelet completely and distort it. You can always go back in and have another squeeze. Now, can you see that? That is very rough to the touch. I don't like it. And it does happen to me if I use genuine We Are Memory Keepers eyelets, of which I have some here, but I'm not going to mess with them. That's a pack. You get, what, how many is in them? 60 eyelets, and that costs about £4. They're quite expensive. So I save those for my posh projects that I'm selling, not for messing about with. So yeah, I then come in with my hammer. Can we see? Move that out of the way. And I just hammer it down with a round end. 
This hammer came in an eyelet setting tool 20 years ago by a company called Making Memories. Now you US ladies are probably very familiar with those if you've done scrapbooking. It came in a little set with the hammer, some tweezers, some of these eyelet setting tools and I love it. I use it to this day 20 years on. So yeah I've got rid of that roughness now. So I will now set this other one. I'll turn this to number or letter number two. That's the one that to me looks like a nipple, not a hill. It's the big nipple, not the little nipple, the big one. So again, pop that in and I'm going to turn this sideways this time to show you what I mean. So when you pop it in, place your eyelet over the nipple and as you squeeze, can you see? I don't know if you can even see this you'll see that the prong at the top starts to grab it yeah that's the point at which you can let go completely and squeeze it with both hands and there you go can you see the difference on the back it's rolled it over and it's not sharp yeah I prefer that way uh, if you've got eyelets with the uh, shaft is too long you're better using that number two because it will roll it over i find that anyway i hope that makes sense i found it really difficult to explain this i'm i'm, I'm going for the, use 50 words where one will do i think but yeah i did notice tanya the problem you were having is you were popping your eyelets out by pressing them down in my humble opinion this machine is upside down and back to front yeah, it would be much better if you had that prong at the bottom and the nipple at the top. If I show you my handheld one, when I'm using it, let's let's make a hole and stick an eyelet in. And I'll show you what I mean. Right, the eyelet's in. And what I will then do is I will put the prong in and turn it upside down. Can you see? No, you can't. Can you XC? Because a piece of card's three foot long. So that it won't come off. And then I bring my other side down. Oh, I've got it on the splayed side. But yeah, I think that's all. From what I could see, Tanya, that is all you were doing wrong. And yeah. Right, another feature this has got. We've got rulers along the bottom. Now you've got three rulers. Each one corresponds to the punching mechanism where you've got the 3 16th, the 1 8th, and the other one corresponds to the eyelet setting. The reason being is, can you see they're in three different places? So, like, one ruler measures from that, one from that, one from that. So that's why you've got three rulers, and they are marked up as 1 8th setting and 3 16ths, yeah? So say I wanted, I've got chipboard now, say I wanted to punch a hole two inches into that, I would set it, if I'm going to use a 3 16th of an inch hole, I'd use the bottom gauge and I would set it to three inches, I would set that to 3 16th on top, I would push my gauge up against it, not to, if yours is anything like mine, don't push too hard or you'll move the, guy, the gauge, so can you see? and then punch a hole so that should measure three inches from the edge should we get a ruler and check it out does it measure three inches by golly it does <laughs> so yeah there you go it does have that advantage you can measure on this one you've got little plastic gauges to measure anywhere up to an inch i do find this one handier as a junk journaler i really do there's that debate that goes on with this do you need both many people say had they bought the big one first they would have never bought the little one well i'm of the opinion that i wasted my money buying the big one when i'd already got the little one yeah apparently no one regrets buying the big one yeah i'm not sure i agree 100 percent I'm here. Sorry for rubbish editing. Totally forgot to show you little eyelets, didn't I? What am I like? I said goodbye and lot. 
So, yeah, we've covered the 3 sixteenths of an eighth, 3 sixteenths of an eighth, 3 sixteenths of an inch eyelets, but you can do the smaller ones, can't you? We've got the 1 eighth of an inch. Now, yeah, I don't always get this right. So if anyone can see what I'm doing wrong, please tell me. Right, I'm going to grab these teeny tiny cute little one eighth of an inch eyelets from Making Memories. These are 20 year old. I hope they haven't got metal fatigue. <laughs> Get a few out, woman. They're so tiny as well, my fingers don't like things this tiny. So we've already made some one eighth of an inch holes. So I'm going to make use of these. So I'm going to pop that in. And I'm going to set this to the one eighth of an inch mark. If I bring it back on camera, and we're getting a bit dark now as well. Yeah. And these here, you need to alter the top to the number, oh, the letter C, which is the smaller prong, the thinner prong. And then the bottom needs to be set to three or four. I'm going to do one with each. Three is the smaller hillock. <laughs> so we'll do the smaller hillock first and see what occurs. Right, remember, no I don't set it to, I've done the whole, set it to the setter, you silly woman, not the one eighth. You set it to the one eighth to punch the hole. Oh, what am I like? So yeah, remember don't press it down on that bottom nipple to pop your eyelet out. You're going to need to start to squeeze down so that the prong at the top goes into your eyelet and I do find this tricky then when it's gone in I let go and squeeze and there we have it it's set but it's just not set well enough so I'm going to give it another squeeze I, I just find the smaller ones tricky yeah look that it's not it's not flush on the hillock so I'm going to come in and do one with the nipple I need to set I need to make another hole let's see what occurs it's that long since I've tried doing a 1 8 inch eyelet I don't know what's gonna happen it's a surprise for me so I'm gonna turn this round to number I'm saying number yeah is number four which is the small nipple let's see what occurs with that which one is it that one so again don't forget to set it to eyelet that's another thing I don't like about this. We're having a bad memory. I forget to move it. <laughs> we are memory keepers. Not for people with bad memories. And come in and squeeze. And there again we have it. It's set it slightly better. But neither of those are, in my opinion, good enough. And I've no idea if that is to do with my crocodile or all crocodiles. So I then again, I come in with my hammer and I just finish hammering it down. But when I pay £40 for some, I expected to do it without having to finish it off with a hammer. So I get them in, but it's not an easy process. Even with my handheld one, it's it doesn't finish them off really good. Now I don't know if that's my eyelets can't find any eyelets that work better I did buy some off Amazon and I'll show them you but these have got an awfully long shank on the bottom and they're just a total mess and I just don't use them unless I'm putting that through something that's whew, twice as thick as that chipboard it's a mess so they were they look cute in that jar but they're a complete waste of money so that'll be why you don't see me use the 1 8 inch eyelets very often because I just can't set them properly oh, hey ho so I hope that's helped you uh, oh one thing I was going to show you yeah the alternative method of setting the eyelets if you don't want to shell out all this money for these I mean even the small one could be 20 25 pound but you can get these little sets you ladies in the states will be familiar with this they came with my little hammer in the Making Memories set. It came in a little tin with a lid. That's gone by the wayside years ago, that has. So you get these little attachments that go onto this silver shank. 
some make holes and some set eyelets and you get them in all different little sizes that's the smaller one but i've got it set for doing the three eighths do you know i'm gonna actually i'm gonna set it and i'm gonna try one of these small ones see what occurs so i'm gonna take those off and i'm gonna put the ones on for the small eyelets i seem to remember they were not brilliant at brads they used to flatten the other sides but for eyelets I think they were okay. Now you would will obviously need something to punch holes. Now I've got these. I use these. It's a ticket punch. That does one the same as a hole punch that you get for your A4 papers. And this one is the one eighth. I did have a three sixteenth, but again that's gone by the wayside. So I'm going to punch my hole. There we go. I'm going to pop my little eyelet in, turn it upside down. Oh, I could, yeah. You can punch out with that. What am I like? Oh, lordy. Do I even know what I'm doing? Should have warned you that I was going to start whacking with a hammer. No, it doesn't like to go through thick chipboard, actually. It's okay in this grey board. Sorry about that. There you go. Because all these holes I've got now. So then to set the eyelet, you use the one with the little nipple on. You pop it inside the back of that and you come in again and whack it with a hammer. And it starts to curl those over. Yeah, when you've gone so far with it, what I tend to do is come in with the rounded end of the hammer and finish it off. Now, I don't mind finishing off with a hammer when my tools cost me a couple of quid. But not when I've spent 40 quid. Right. So there we go. That's in. Yeah, it's a bit noisier. You don't want to be doing these at midnight when your neighbours are in bed. But if you only need to do an eyelet in the middle of a piece of chipboard, rarely, it's up to you. You decide what you want to spend your money on. To be quite honest, I'd have been happy just sticking with my handheld one. It's much handier for tags. This one's a little bit wieldy and ugh, cumbersome. And you need a lot of room on your desk. And if you're one of those crafters who likes to work in a six inch space, it can be difficult to get that on. Whereas this, the Crocodile one, the handheld one, you're using it in midair above your desk. Oh, I do need WD-40 on that, don't I? So yeah, that's a few ways to stick eyelets in. I hope that's helped you, Tanya, I really do. Um, yeah, I think it's just that one simple thing. Don't press the eyelet down against the bottom plate. You've got to like hover it until that prong at the top catches it. Yeah, and then do your squeezing. It's not a one operation thing, really. Maybe it is, maybe I'm doing something wrong. If I am, please tell me, I would love to know. I'm not so arrogant as to think I'm an expert and I'm the only one who knows how to use this. I'm not. That's how I use it. I'm, that's just my experience of it. So if that's helped anyone, fabulous. If you've got questions, please ask me. If there's anything else you'd like to see me do with it or with anything, just let me know in comments. Uh, I can incorporate certain things in with other videos. But for that one, I thought I'll just do a standalone video. Yeah, I know it's not for everyone. If you don't need to know how to use it, you're not here now, are you? <laughs> You've already gone, aren't you? Yeah, you're eating your tea, yeah? So, yes. Thank you very much for joining me. And I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye.